يا جماعة خلنا أشرح لكم موضوع الديبيت طبعا ليش نحن نعمل ديبيت معنا هنا طبعا أنا ما أريد أزعق أزعق المجموعتين بس خلنا أشرح لكم بصفة عامة why we need to have a debate الديبيت يجعل المجموعات to think on their food sometimes when you prepare for a presentation you know exactly what you're supposed to talk لكن or to say لكن uh, when you are confronted with a issue or a tough question You will have to think on your feet exactly how to respond. ما يكون عندك وقت فالديبيت دائما خلاق يجعلك more innovative. So that's why we are asking our students to be very innovative. وعادة I have assigned the group the other perspective. بمعنى إذا كنا قلنا ICT is strategic or tactical. If one group they really believe it is tactical, I ask them to prepare arguments that it is strategic. So I want them to always think about the other. side or the other perspective مثل ما نقول باللغه العربيه الراي والراي الاخر للاسف الشديد معظمنا دائما يميل الى رايه ولا يتفكر حتى الراي الاخر كيف ممكن نحن نفكر فيه بس الديبيت دائما يعطينا هذه الفرصه انه وي ثينك اباوت اكزاكتلي وات وي وات وي بيليف ان اند وات اذرز بيليف ان اند هاو وي كان اولسو انفلونس اذرز باي اذرز بيرسبكتيف فهل الاي سي تي فعلا غايه أم وسيلة is it strategic هل المفروض ننظر على موضوع نظرة استراتيجية ممكن يأخذ أن يكون عندنا الـ IT department ما يكون فقط كسبورت يرتقي أن يكون بمصاف جميع الـ departments الثانية اللي هي حالها حال الـ CEO advisors وكذا نحن نجد الحين دول تعين CIO فتحصل مثل ما يكون في عندك مستشار لرئيس الدولة لأمور سياسية لأمور اقتصادية كذلك عنده مستشار لأمور تقنية وهذا معناته استراتيجيك وفي بعض الدول لا تؤمن بأن الـ IT لا زال أنه تاكتيكال لا زال أنه فقط وسيلة لتحقيق غاية أسماء غاية اقتصادية غاية تنموية غاية أي كانت فوات دو يو ثينك از إت تاكتيكال أور ستراتيجيك؟ Today we have our guest which is Rina the director of Circle Software Company Welcome Rina to our program Thank you appreciated Let's start by asking you Do you treat business ICT as instrumental means or as a strategic endeavor? From my experience, I prefer to treat um, uh, ICT, business ICT as a strategy. Uh, so uh, from uh, our company, uh, we set a long-term business ICT uh, strategy uh, that align with our business uh, goals. So this is for many reasons. Uh, uh, one reason is that uh, to be guide for our business and stuff, and also to set a plan uh, so it will be easy for us to achieve the goals according to our plan. Uh, also, we, we will be ready for any potential uh, changes or situation. So we set our direction of uh, technology within our organization. Okay, thank you, Rina, for that. Do you have any strategic analysis in the first uh, in your plan at the first of your project, or as a random manner? Yeah, of course, we have uh, uh, analysis of the situation from the uh, external perspective and in the internal perspective. From the external per perspective, we analyze the uh, the opportunities and threats. Also, we analyze the uh, the market situation and the um, the competitors uh, where they do they reach now. Also, we have um, we have to. Um, Uh, continuous uh, review the threats and opportunities also we have uh, to set methods to leverage the strengths and mitigate the weakness in our company okay Rina tell us how do you usually you manage your risk and the resources in your company in our plan in our plan for the next five years we uh, do um, a measurement for the situations and also we set uh, for each point we have scenarios so in each scenario we have what to do so if for example x y z happen we we know what to do and what actions we have to take so we have a framework for decision making Uh, so in case if new technology happen or uh, something new will happen, we are ready and we have the resources uh, available and everything is uh, ready. So no, no need to do an, uh, a new plan. 
Okay, for in, uh, for example, if you have any new technology in your organization, does your uh, do, uh, your staff need any new training for the new technologies? Of course, yes, because we have uh, a good uh, technical team and um, from uh, our plan and our goal, uh, we have to reach the, um, the uh, technical world today. So uh, we have um, object, we set objectives uh, uh, and uh, what are the requirements to, uh, to do the training program in our company. So we have to set uh, what we need from, uh, for example, resources, materials, uh, stuff, trainees and whatever so we are ready and um, just we need uh, uh, just we have uh, what uh, the training program needs so our stuff is ready from the skills and also the, the resources okay okay Rina in case you have any silos how you usually avoid them um, we avoid the silos. Uh, we have an integrated uh, IT uh, framework, uh, which is ERB, uh, Enterprise Resource Management System. So um, uh, the the all the departments follow these uh, strategies and uh, this structure and standard uh, standard. Uh, st structure so uh, the management is uh, easy in in view of ICT also uh, the the relationship between the business department and ICT departments uh, are is strong uh, since uh, uh, all the stakeholders are involved in this process okay at the end do you have any advices for the other companies that you can help them in case they have any strategic uh, and a strategic plan in the future? Yes, I advise all uh, companies to do a plan because um, uh, they have to do a long term plan for, for example, five years. Uh, so they are they will um, analyze the situation and they will be ready for any new uh, technologies Thank that will so appear. Much. Let's move to the next group. Finish your time is up. Uh, <coughs> Hello, everybody. <coughs> Welcome to uh, this debate um, between discussing the ICT either being uh, strategic to achieve the goal or to be a sort of an instrumental enabler or a technical way to solve uh, the, uh, the daily and the, the, the long term or either the short term plan in terms of the technology development. Uh, first of all, let me uh, introduce you some uh, statistical information in terms of using ICT the, to be an enabler for many organizations to achieve its goals. Uh, roughly about 50% of financial tasks are performed through the internet. Um, in this term, we can see 53 of the adults whose age 65 and over use the ICT for the online shopping. Um, online auctions is 14% and while 30% is for managing stocks. Uh, these numbers are really huge and they really have a big impact. So uh, we can see today um, ICT is playing a very a wide um, a major role in the sustainable development for any nation or organization or as well in terms of government um, reaching the objectives. Um, the technology uh, can refer either on the methods, knowledge, skills or procedure that generated as well developed in one location and then to be transferred to some other locations. Um, then carrying out to achieve a practical end. The availability of the ICT is really a good requirement or an incentive. Um, initial uh, requirement for any growth of economic as well as the social development. Uh, let's focus more in Oman. For example, in Oman, Oman is already following the development and uh, getting uh, into the massive trend of the high technology uh, in almost all the fields and in institutional organization and even individual, while also getting a lot of uh, effort in government wise. So Oman pay a high attention toward the ICT. Uh, uh, and ICT is really considered to be a significant tactical way to achieve today's competitive advantage. Um, uh, to reach the sustainable development in any country, the grow uh, it can uh, it can help to grow in a rapid way with the ICT usage, as the ICT uh, should be implemented either in a governmental as well the organization as a tactical way to reach broader aims. Uh, ICT is enabled for development. 
as we can know, and it articulate a lot of factors that influence on the growth and the success of ICT uh, in many re in many sides, either to being a source or the uh, recipient of the economic to achieve the goals. For example, it helped the easy access to market, getting the market information, uh, knowing about the income generation, uh, empowering government, empowering citizens as well the uh, communities. The success for the ICT in a, in a country, for example, Oman or so, in any country, it will be uh, closely related to one major uh, aspect, which is the national ICT uh, governmental policy. As the ICT depends on the human capital to make the significant uh, contribution uh, in the development, and thus we can, con uh, we can uh, refer to the ICT as to be a tactical way to achieve uh, the goals as well as the objectives. And my uh, colleague Jawahir will continue with you and showing some example. Many uh, studies have been shown uh, ICT help to make people's lives uh, better. Uh, many enterprises and uh, startups uh, started to use uh, ICT to, for marketing, for uh, especially fishermen and farmers. Also, ICT is, uh, uh, can help in uh, management of some businesses like airlines. It, is, uh, it, it can help in uh, reservations and revenue support, passengers checking and seats allocation, get management and scheduling for uh, air, airlines. Also, it helps in operational and crew management, control cargo management, maintenance and material equipment, critical incidents management, and f to corrective mechanisms. Also, ICT, ICT is an enabler for people daily lives. People use ICT for finance, shopping, medical care, transportation, entertainment, and social activities. Actually, ICT effects uh, of solving global problems like uh, hunger and poverty using ICT people can donate easily and more frequently uh, there are many apps to, to help you to donate uh, easily and to find the uh, poor or people in need uh, in need uh, more easily and uh, to do, to donate donate more frequently uh, to conclude ICT is a sustainable development and it is important concept as it recognized that human uh, civiliza civilization is an integral part of a natural world. Stop, Gawar, thank you so much. Now we have five minutes to prepare our future. Five minutes from now. They have only two or five minutes to prepare an argument against the other group's arguments. The idea is that every group has given a point of view. We have the pro and the against. We have the group that says that the ICT is strategic. We have the group that says that the ICT should be tactical. It's a way of making it. Every one has a point of view. على المجموعتين الحين انهم يحضروا رد على الارجمنتس اللي ذكرتها المجموعه المقابله عندهم خمس دقائق يجهزوا هذا الرد وخلال هذا الخمس دقائق راح ننتظر ايش هي الردود اللي المفروض انهم يردوا عليهم طبعا عندنا كذلك الحضور راح يقيموا وجهه نظر هذا الجماعه يعني وات ايفر ارجمنتس ذي هاف كم اب ود ناو ويل بي ايفالويتد باي ذا اودينس في عندها على الاقل 2% they will evaluate exactly what arguments they have come up with what sort of references they have used and what sort of counter arguments they have also provided فانتظرونا اللي مشرفنا حاليا ويتابعنا لايف على اليوتيوب انتظرونا باقي من الوقت اقل من اربع دقائق ونسمع ردودهم انتظرونا على وعندنا مجموعتين اخرتين باذن الله تعالى بعد الانتهاء من هالمجموعتين طبعا اذا بغيت اشرح لكم انا الاستراكشر مال الديبيت في عندنا مجموعتين في مجموعه نسميها الافيرمتيف اللي هي تكون مع القضيه وفي عندنا مجموعه نسميها ذا نيجاتيف النيجاتيف عاده هي رايها مخالف لل للفكره فلما نقول اي سي تي از استراتيجيك اور تاكتيكال ون اوف ذا جروبس ويل تيك ذا استراتيجيك بوينت اوف فيو ف دي ويل هاف تو ديسكس ان الاي سي تي از استراتيجيك مور ذان تاكتيكال والاذر جروب لا دي هاف تو ديفند ان نو اي سي تي شود بي فيود از تاكتيكال مور ذان استراتيجيك يعني وسيلة أكثر من أنه هو غاية فكل واحد عنده أرجمنت يحاول يقنعنا نحن كحضور بالأرجمنت ماله وبالرفرنسز 
بعد ما يقدم الارجمنتس ماله نعطيهم خمس دقائق they think about the other groups arguments وكيف انا ممكن ارد عليه فاذا هذا قالوا لا والله المفروض ننظر له بهذه الطريقه they have to prepare exactly things that they have to defend their own argument انتظرونا ثواني ونبدا من جديد المجموعة النيجاتيف يو هاف تو ستارت وذ يور كاونتر ارجيومنت يلا بسم الله ناو اوكي اس يو منشند ايرلير يو يو منشند وي نيد اي سي تي تو ستراتيجي تو سيت بلانس بات from our uh, from our perspective uh, setting a plan needs more time and effort and it's not also it's not valid for startups and entrepreneurs and so setting strategy will not help uh, people which uh, sta uh, which needs uh, an opportunity to start business so how you can uh, manage the strategy plan for for this uh, type of people okay and in term of um, talking about the risk you've mentioned like you're managing the risk you're preparing a five-year plan strategic plan to put all the scenarios and set up a plan for it uh, this is an initial setup for the uh, how to mitigate such a risk. But what about, uh, as we all know that the technology in the ICT is overwhelming and growing even, let's say, per second, some new risk will come up, some new security points will come up, some new viruses will come up, some new type of threats will come up. If the plan has been prepared already for an existing things in terms of security, what about the new things? How you can mitigate it in terms of a strategic plan setup? Um, one more point um, regarding the uh, ERP uh, as my colleague uh, Jawahar she mentioned like a, ro a lot of uh, startup business or entrepreneur or even SME because there is a, a lot of new trend going through uh, the growth of SME and to support them to get them all the uh, necessary th things so ERP is not available in such a small SME uh, companies and as well entrepreneur um, so you're putting a lot of effort in uh, ERP. So how this can be managed in term for those kind of uh, business? Yes. I'll give them the mic. Five minutes to respond. Um, the first point which talk about the uh, strategies and um, how 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 the uh, SMEs and uh, entrepreneurs set, uh, set their uh, plan so they are new to the market and how uh, they they will know the technical and ICT uh, strategies this is you mean okay uh, for uh, we we advise the SMEs and enterprises uh, system, uh, enterprises um, uh, companies to uh, to do a long term uh, flexible long term uh, plan so that uh, they they wrote uh, each scenario in case they uh, in any changes or any new technologies so they will uh, uh, they will know how to adopt it so uh, they will wrote the, uh, their um, uh, um, plan and uh, strategy to be uh, flexible so uh, and also they need uh, technical uh, support and uh, team to help them what are the uh, uh, what uh, to do if new technologies will appear uh, for the risk management um, when when they wrote their plan to be flexible so uh, any situation will appear so they will they will be ready to uh, solve any uh, risk and uh, prepare for any resources uh, one point that you mentioned Jawahar was uh, the advantage of having a tactics uh, a plan is that for example it will uh, help the fishermen 
in their work. How can this accomplish by the fishermen? As we know, the fishermen in our country are older people. How they will be able to adopt ICT if they are not having the skills and the technology of using them? And this are one of the disadvantage of uh, tactics that they are short term and there there is no training for uh, for the employees or for the for the end users to use these such of technologies. Uh, when we set the uh, long term goals, uh, not just set them and uh, we follow them as th uh, it is written. Also, we have to uh, monitor the situation of the company and what are the new things so that we respond uh, and we have to evaluate each situation that occur and there, uh, there uh, we will respond to these uh, current situations. So we will have continuous analysis of the situation. Also, another point, if we don't have a clear uh, strategy from the bin, uh, beginning, we have to think about uh, how to manage the risk, about the risk management. If there is no clear, uh, in case of a change, if there is no clear plan or solution, also about the resource management, including all types of the resources and uh, th that resources, will it be within the capabilities of the company or not? Uh, about the uh, integration of the IT, uh, about ARB, uh, you said that uh, some, uh, some uh, companies will not use ARB. So uh, the company can uh, do a standard uh, structure and standard um, um, uh, rules for the company itself. So each department will follow these uh, rules. Uh, therefore, uh, the department will um, uh, each uh, department will have the same uh, strategy and same uh, and control uh, with the same rules. Regarding the five years uh, of a plan, for example, for the strategy, we have a general five year plan for the big companies. And in case of the entrepreneurs, they have five years plan uh, just to to show their uh, uh, their uh, their advantage in the in the market and that's it Finish? yes thank you Alas, stop now you have five minutes to say to address the audience now we are giving both groups five minutes Alas, finish 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 now both groups will have five minutes to think about a message, a final message to address the audience. You have now to think about the message that will win you the audience so that we will give you a better, better feedbacks and better rankings. You audience. Okay, at the end of this debate, what we can summarize uh, about why we treat business ICT uh, as a strategic uh, end for. Uh, the main point is, first point is, it is uh, if we have a, a strategy means a long term vision and a clear long term business ICT strategy uh, help the business to be ready for any potential issues or changes. The second point is the decision making and strategy uh, provides a framework for the decision making for staff uh, to make day to day uh, operational dis uh, decision. The third point is about the managing, and if we, ha uh, for ha if we have a clear, uh, a clear strategy, means in case of the, any we, uh, the company need any resources, to have a clear plan, also for uh, the risk, to have a clear uh, solutions. And fourth point is about uh, measuring the strength and weaknesses of the business. Also, the strategy provide a continuous uh, review for the opportunities and threats. Uh, since the tactical plan is a short term, it need a long time for planning for the implementation, which on the other hand can slow down the firm operation if the, if the plan is very extensive. Uh, this may possibly lead to decrease of the profit. On the other hand, the strategy, the strategy provide a framework for the decision making for all the staffs and the 
the top management to make day-to-day -day operation decision and to understand that these decisions are all moving to the organization's single direction or single goal, which then, on the other hand will increase the company profits. Uh, I, w I have to say, uh, if you have a plan, you will never get lost. So you have to follow a strategy from the beginning. Uh, uh, I have, for example, if a new technology uh, come uh, today and the company is not uh, ready to, um, uh, to write, a, they have to write a new plan each time and they will waste time and they will waste uh, also, they have to prepare resources and uh, skills for the uh, stuff and so on. So uh, we, uh, we are with a strategic, um, strategic uh, view. Thank you so much. Atuhum al mic. Three minutes. You only have three minutes. First, uh, for uh, about regarding the fishermen to gain money, uh, studies has shown uh, it is easier to use ICT ICT for uh, daily life and. Uh, Many people uh, of age uh, under 65, they are able to use ICT like uh, mobile apps because every, uh, most of the people have uh, mobile phones. So they started uh, contributing with the social media and started to, uh, to utilize the marketing uh, for, their, for them to gain money and to sell their uh, products. Even it was and it is uh, so useful for ladies, especially for housewives to make more money. Uh, second, many enterprises don't own ERP as they don't know or they don't see any value, uh, uh, the value of it. So they have other applications or other uh, software to uh, manage their, uh, uh, their employees. So if we don't have ERP, how we can uh, uh, create a strategy? Uh, third, uh, third uh, how, we, how we can measure SWOT or how we can make SWOT analysis if we don't know the business, even, uh, especially for startups. We are just uh, starting to, uh, starting, uh, to produce some products or starting some business. So, uh, it is not valid to have SWAT. We, fear we first have to uh, do some operational, uh, uh, operational business, then we can afterwards uh, analyze SWAT. Uh, also, I think this is <laughs> these are all my points. Um, in terms of uh, having the strategic plan, uh, a strategic plan is good enough for a big organization, big companies, big governments, uh, big department. Uh, it is very essential, but at the same time, we cannot ignore some small things. A small things is not alwa always is just a small things. A small things can contribute a lot and have a big effect in terms of the long-term objectives. Um, a strategic plan is not only to address the ICT, it is show uh, how to be developing, to be able to develop a broader aim. The broader aim can be uh, gained through these small uh, tactical enablers uh, in order uh, to achieve the big picture. Uh, for example, like education, healthcare, uh, revenue, growth, this is all aims and broader objectives. We need to reach them thank in you, order. Asia. Thank you, time is up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>